Hello Gemini, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 2nd of January until the 8th of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Six of Cups. You want to return to the happy memories of your past, whether as a child, teenager or adult. Oftentimes, though, these memories are indeed a thing of the past and reflect aspects of your life that have since vanished. You may feel that the only way to connect to this happiness is to escape into the past where you can reflect on your happy and beautiful memories, instead of dealing with current challenges. This is fine if you are simply taking a walk down memory lane but it is important that you live in the present and accept your current circumstances rather than always living in the past. Oftentimes, there is nothing wrong with looking back at the good times for inspiration when things are not going so well. In the midst of change and crisis, the Six of Cups suggests that looking back at what you have endured is a good way to assure yourself that, whatever trials lay ahead, you will meet them and you will overcome them as you overcame others. You need to take time out to heal, look back on the past and all the good that lies there. During this period of reflection, there is no need to focus on the negative. Instead, Bring all of the positive energy from the past into your present and your future. The fallen cups are now full and upright again but with blooming flowers that cannot be spilled or washed away. Now that you have looked back, the way forward will be clear and enlightening. The Six of Cups can represent a return to a familiar environment or to a childhood place. You may return to your hometown, to your parents house to your high school or even kindergarten. You could be going to a high school reunion or reconnecting with a childhood acquaintance. A teenage sweetheart or past lover may turn up again. Allow yourself positive, nostalgic memories of childhood, friends and family. If you can, spend time with younger people. The source of your problems may be in past events that are triggered in the present. We are made up of many parts and inside we still have the little child and adolescent we were with all of its experiences and feelings. This can lead to the inner child reacting strongly to certain experiences, situations and feelings in the present, based on experiences of the past. Working with your inner child and getting to know where these feelings come from can change that and enhance your choices in miraculous ways. When we are being playful, spontaneous, creative, intuitive and surrendering to the spiritual self, our genuine authentic self, who we know deep within us, our real self is being welcomed and encouraged to be present. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Ten of Cups. What do you want most right now is to have a harmonious and loving family life. All family members are getting along with each other and there is a lot of happiness and love shared. No one is fighting or causing any tension. Instead, it is an environment of peace and happiness that lends itself to warm and loving relations. The presence of the Ten of Cups may even reflect an upcoming family holiday where you can rest and relax together creating fun and happy family memories. There may be a family reunion or a family celebration where members of your extended family come together. This is a wonderful time to bond with your family and lay the foundation for a happy and harmonious future together. The Ten of Cups is also a very positive card in terms of romantic relationships and may indicate either the beginning of a new, very happy relationship or the ultimate satisfaction of a long-term relationship. Commitment and love are the requirements of such satisfaction, yet this card promises that with the required effort a lasting love can be built. The time will also be made for the enjoyment of pleasures, which may be shared with another person whom you love. Outside of relationships and the family, 
The Ten of Cups is also reflective of your personal values system and what you believe will bring you the ultimate fulfillment and happiness in your life. This card represents a time when you are very clear on where your personal beliefs and values lie and you have successfully created a life that is aligned to those values. It may reflect a spiritual or religious person who lives in peace and harmony. It may also reflect strong family values that were instilled within you early in life which are now helping you to create a fulfilling lifestyle. The Ten of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and go with your intuition about where the best opportunities lie. As an intuitive person, you know that you can trust your gut feeling to guide you. When you feel truly happy and inspired about something, you know that that is the way to go. Aim to seek out opportunities that make you feel fulfilled and that are aligned with your personal values rather than simply following the path that others expect you to take. You have to do what feels right to you and you only. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Queen of Cups. You are afraid of your negative emotional mental state play in your head. You are allowing your imagination to run away with you. You mean well but unfortunately you cannot be relied on. You are letting your emotions take hold and you are not thinking clearly with your head. At its worst, the precious qualities of imagination and flowing fantasy might turn out to be weakness and thoughtlessness, turning in any direction that any wind may blow, getting lost in a dream world of unreal fantasies. You are becoming easily overwhelmed by emotion, and you are becoming moody, unstable, brooding, suspicious, and overly secretive. The Queen of Cups represents an over-emotional wreck who can be driven to manipulative and vindictive behavior. Your mood swings are making life difficult for others and you are emotionally draining on those around you. You tend to play the emotional heartstrings to your advantage. Within you, you may also harbor angst and self-loathing for your inability to do more with yourself and your talents. This card heralds a time when separating the emotions from any sense of sensibility may be difficult. Strong emotions may seem to take all parties on a roller coaster ride. Within projects, jobs, or workplaces, all members may feel their emotions are a little frayed from stress. With this in mind, the Queen of Cups also warns against entering into any agreements with those who seem to play on your sense of guilt or pull on your emotional heartstrings, for they may not be what they seem. The Queen of Cups can indicate an over-reliance on other people's emotional responses, which may result in a codependency type relationship. You may want to examine your current relationships. Is the codependency? Are you giving too much of yourself and not getting anything in return? This queen nurtures for the sake of inducing dependency, and places undue importance on being in a relationship, no matter what its quality. There could also be a tendency towards having too many expectations from your partner. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the Page of Cups. Your unconscious mind is also trying to speak to you, possibly through your dreams or through synchronistic encounters with significant people. The message to be taken is that you must be open to the unexpected, occasionally bizarre impulses of the creative spirit and not shut out inspiration simply because it does not fit in with a rational point of view. The Page of Cups may also be an indication that your intuition is very sharp and you may receive messages from your unconscious mind. You may be more inclined to act on a hunch or have a psychic experience. This is a good time to trust your intuition and your gut feeling. Often, the Page of Cups heralds a positive message or news from loved ones. You may hear about the birth of a child, an engagement or marriage, a wonderful ideal plan, pregnancy, a new relationship, 
travel plans, etc. This positive message is unexpected but welcomed, and you are likely to respond to the news or message in an emotional manner. You are more likely to show or express your emotions now. You may be more emotional or moved by simple things. Do not be afraid to let your feelings show and to wear your heart on your sleeve. It is okay to be sentimental and romantic. Let your heart lead the way. The Page of Cups is like your inner child youthful, free, creative, intuitive and inspired. This page has never been taught to suppress his innate emotional and intuitive power, and therefore he is a kindred spirit whose imagination is totally free, free to dream wonderful dreams and to create his life exactly as he chooses. In this way, the Page of Cups represents renewal of your emotional and creative self to allow that sense of freedom to reappear in your life. This card encourages you to take a fresh perspective on a difficult issue and to approach that situation with benefit of the doubt, love and compassion. The Page of Cups appearance tells you to never stop listening to your intuition and believing in your dreams. If you cease to dream, then your dreams shall never come true because they do not exist anymore. In your darkest moments, Dreams can often provide a ray of hope through with the Page of Cups can manifest. Dare to dream and all things become possible. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the Eight of Wands. You are afraid of making mistake and fatal failures both in your work and personal relationship life. Despite having a lot of energy and enthusiasm to progress things forward, you are now being faced with multiple obstacles in your course. This is incredibly frustrating and you may be growing increasingly impatient by the day. Keep looking for alternative ways around the obstacles presented so that you can carry out your plans. On the flip side, the Eight of Wands suggests that you are charging ahead with an ideal plan but you need to slow down and consider your next steps before continuing. You may be missing something in your haste and prone to making mistakes. Similarly, this card can be a sign to hold off your activities for a short amount of time until the situation becomes more stable and predictable. You may also be prone to having many many ideas at the one time and not knowing which to pursue and when. Just as you get started on implementing one idea, another one comes to mind and you quickly switch your focus. The trouble is that with this approach, you never actually accomplish anything because you are jumping from one idea to the next without finishing any of them. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Ace of Cups. There would be a new beginning of love, happiness and compassion in your life. It can indicate the start of a new relationship, be it a friendship or a romance. This is one of those relationships where you feel the sense of excitement and you are so pleased to have met someone with whom you can share a special connection. The water in the card reflects the flow of emotion and thus the Ace of Cups suggests that positive emotion and energy will be created between two people in a way that leaves you feeling good about yourself and life in general. You need to experience the feeling of new love or of giving and receiving unconditional love. Give and accept love on a new level and open your heart to what is around you. Your loving ways will magnetize love to you. This card often means that love is the essence of the situation. It may or may not be romantic love. Look for ways in which you can begin to connect with others. Do you have someone to forgive, or do you want to ask for forgiveness? Can you set aside your anger and find peace? Would you like to drop your reserve and let your feelings show? This is a peaceful time in your life so use it and make peace with friends or yourself. The Ace of Cups is also about creative expression, particularly where there is an opportunity to allow your emotions to shine through. 
you are very open to experiencing your inner feelings and sharing them with others. You may be inspired to start a new creative project, take up an art class or two, or even engage in interpretative dance. You are at that point in your life where you feel comfortable with who you are and what you feel and you are not afraid to express that part of yourself to others. You see new potential in allowing your creative juices to flow and as such, you are open to new possibilities and stimulating your imagination to allow your talent to unfold. There is certainly a generous, compassionate component to the Ace of Cups. This is a time of giving, not taking, and offering yourself to a new opportunity to help others. You have the power to bring great happiness to others and to share your contentment and positive energy. You will also find that the more you give, the more you receive on multiple levels. The Ace of Cups often points to fertility. From a very literal point of view, this means that the Ace of Cups can indicate conception, pregnancy or birth. There may be the birth of a new idea or a spark of new inspiration. It can represent the beginning of a project in which a great deal of loving and creative energy is invested. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Unity Working in groups enriches you right now. You drew this card because it's time for you to expand your circle of friends or join a group. For example, you may want to enroll in school or become part of a spiritual organization. This is also an optimal time to make friends with supportive new people who have integrity and a strong moral compass. It's also time to question and review any rules, restrictions, or limited beliefs that have been placed around your current situation, by you or by others, to make sure that they're fair to everyone involved. This can lift any previous blocks to the manifestation of your goals. Additional meanings of this card, experts or mentors. The search for meaning in life. Having faith in a group of people. Schools and spiritual institutions. Sandalphon is the archangel who delivers prayers from earth to heaven. Call upon him to increase your faith and your commitment to your dreams and goals. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.